Welcome to Car Design Academy and the continuation of the SL Coupe interior. Uh, I did a series of demos recently where I developed this uh, uh, sort of elegant, beautiful, sexy sports coupe, which uh, I felt looked like a really nice evolution of the Mercedes SL, the, the famed Mercedes SL. Uh, and this has like the famous gull wing doors, um, very, very elegant, long hood, short deck uh, proportion. And um, and then um, in the first series of the interior, I developed the headliner. Uh, so so this is an actual pillar structure headliner that um, just, just really helps to give a sense of dimension and depth to the glass. And so uh, now I'm going to start to really dig into the interior. And, and so the next item on the agenda is to develop a, uh, what I call just the tub. It's just, it's just the, the, uh, empty hollow of the, of the interior itself. So, uh, I'm just going to show you how I do that very quickly. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the, the exterior. I'm going to turn off the, the shut lines and the glass. Actually, I'm going to turn off the headliner as well, and then turn on, just turn on the exterior. So now I have, um, uh, everything I need to develop the tub. So I'm going to set up a new layer called tub. And uh, and I'm just going to go right to work developing the uh, the interior here. So uh, using again, using my sub D ribbon stroke, uh, my favorite tool here. Um, and I'm going to use I'm going to I'm actually going to start with a um, kind of a medium gray here uh, just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to follow the plan shape of the exterior. And I'm just going to get it as close as I can. What's nice is when I did the exterior, I developed this, this, um, this, this hem flange. And so you can see what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm going to tuck that tub right underneath the hem flange. So, so there's, it really frees me up in terms of the the level of precision that I need, um, and I, I can I can really dial this in without a lot of extra work in terms of precision. It gives me it gives me a lot of freedom and flexibility. And so I'm just following following the periphery of the uh, the exterior skin here. And you can see I can just keep it right under that hem flange and it's going to look really, really nice. And then I'm not going to follow it here because that's that's part of the the under under hood appearance. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring everything in just a little bit. And then I'll, bu I'll build a, uh, a hem flange going out here. So I'm just going to take the entire periphery and ex just create an extrusion. I'll go into poly view so you can you know, really see what I'm doing here. And I'm just I'm going to create a uh create a lip here. So I'm I'm basically going to have two two flanges, uh one for the exterior and one for the interior that are going to overlap each other and that way I can really control how all this stuff fits together and I get a nice clean line going around the periphery of this of this interior tub. And I'm not I'm not concerned with um perfection. And then as I add an additional edge here, you can see what happens as I get this nice um nice clean read on on the uh on, on where the interior meets the exterior. Now I can really tailor it. Uh, to fit. And I don't have to worry about being too precise or too perfect. And and this this is actually very, very representative of how cars are really built. You know, they 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 create these trim pieces that overlap each other in a clever ways to to uh to really hide imperfections. So as we get towards the the rear, I'm gonna I'm gonna thin this this section up a little bit, maybe maybe tunnel it in a little bit, and then um, I'm gonna start to add some thickness. Now I'm gonna start to build the interior surfaces. 
I'm going to try to straighten this out as much as I can. I'm going to extrude straight down and, and build out the rest of this tub. And what I'm doing is creating a load floor for the, for the trunk. Now I'm just filling in the floor. So now I have a complete tub. And what I can do is I can uh, tighten the edges like that. Now it's at this point, I feel like I need to have some reference as to where the occupants are sitting. So I'm going to bring in my original occupants. I'm just going to create a new another layer called occupants. And I'm going to grab grab these guys and bring them into the occupants layer. So now I know where they're sitting. So I I can see that my my rear tub here is is intruding. quite a bit into into the seating area so let's see I'm gonna lock the occupants and go back to my tub layer and so what I can do is just bring this point rearward maybe add an additional bit of geometry there Yeah, that's looking better. Now I have a bit of room to have a, a seat. I do think I can bring the floor down a bit. So I'm going to bring that all the way down. So that that way they have a little bit more a little bit more room. So I'm thinking about doing something really interesting with this with this uh interior and th and that is to actually add a third a third occupant so i'm going to turn on my headliner and just see how much headroom i have really don't have enough room for a third occupant um let me give it a try here so i'm going to Duplicate this guy, send him back. So you can see his head is crashing through the roof right now. But I think we can just bring everybody down a little bit. There we go. Maybe bring these guys up just a little bit. So you can see a little better. And I think we have plenty of forward room as well. We can bring these guys forward a little bit. And maybe bring the rear. Yeah. So the idea is that you have this this empty space between the the, the driver and the passenger to um to have a third passenger to be able to stretch comfortably between them. That, that works out really well. And then we would just have twin battery packs, one, one between the rear wheels and then one stretching into the, the underhood area. <clears throat> so now I have to hollow out this, this tub area for this third occupant. So I'm going to turn off the headliner again. And I'm going to turn the occupants down in terms of opacity. And I'm going to now start to create a hollowed area.
So I just added an additional edge loop. This could be a real VIP back seat. And then I can just extrude rearward here. So I'm trying to leave enough room for the for the actual seat. So let's see what we have now. That's pretty interesting. So I'm just going to tighten up this uh this corner area. And I also want to add a bit more shape to the door section. Uh, there's going to be some door trim on here, but let me just give myself a bit of a a bit of a section here for the instrument panel to hang on. Now I'm just starting to check my my geometry and see how how I'm doing with regards to um this intersection of the uh of the interior trim to the exterior now i want to fill in this uh this this graphic under the hood just just fill it in Just gonna get my flashlight and just start to check some of the surfacing in here. It looks looking pretty good. And again, the tub the tub is just a generalized interior shape that we can build our theme around. So I'm just gonna go in and uh, improve some of these surfaces here. So um, another important consideration is to figure out um, the relationship between the headliner and the tub. So how does the headliner park itself in the tub? So you can see that the 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 intersection of the of the a pillar to the to the headliner is quite. I'm sorry, the the, the intersection of the a pillar to the tub is quite chaotic at the moment. So what I'm going to do is grab grab this section here this this uh this this uh chamfered edge here just bring it bring it a, a bit further back here so we can have a nice nice solid place for that A pillar to land That's looking much better in terms of how the the headliner and the a you know the a pillar and the and the tub come together. Now back here I need to do some adjusting as well. So I'm just going to bring these edges down so I get a nice cohesive uh, connection there, and then I just got to update the headliner a little bit and just get this get this intersection looking a little better. And once it's all blacked out, it won't matter quite as much. But now that looks like at least it's been designed and crafted. So now I can darken this tub. You can see it all blends together really nicely. And then I'm going to bring in the glass again. And just make sure that we're... Yeah, we're not crashing through here, so I need to make some adjustments to the glass as well. Which I think is, is, is really just going to help it. Yeah, so now the glass is just 
just above just above that trim line. So now when I turn on my let's turn on our reflections again here. So when I turn on my my uh, my glass, my exterior and my cut lines it's starting to look like a very complete vehicle. So now I have the tub, the headliner, transparent glass, and an occupant package. I have everything I need now to, to sketch out the, the rest of the interior theme. So the next stage is going to be now to, to sit in the driver's seat. I'm going to be sitting in the driver's seat, and I'm just going to start sketching out the, uh, the, in, the theme of the interior. And I'll probably do a number of proposals, but um, very quickly we're going to have uh, a great environment uh, for a luxury sports coupe interior. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you next time on cardesign.academy.